Hi everybody, here we are back in the craft room. We had a really a wet walk this morning with the boys, but they're all dried, fed, and currently snoozing here in the craft room. Um, you might hear a bit of snoring, but we're getting used to that, aren't we? Today's card is the second of the fishy cards I was going to do. And we use the dolphin. I think I might call him Shark yesterday, but dolphin, octopus. So I'm going to do the octopus in those purpley colours, I think. Purpley, pinky, mauve and similar colours for this guy. So I'm going to use similar colours to what's there. I have got this alphabet set which is from Made to Surprise and I'm going to cut Happy out of that. Card blank and I've also pulled out this pad which is also from Made to Surprise from the Under the Sea collection and I thought I might use a little bit of that. So we'll see about that one. I'll put that to the side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these pieces. And then I will be back so here's all our pieces I'm just gonna cut and poke these out so there's the happy and I'll stamp a birthday or something I think so Let's get the octopus together first because he's going to be pretty easy, I think. I need a couple of pieces to him. Get his face on, so we need a Big eye and a little eye, I think, and a squiggly mouth. So let's get those on. So there's him done. Easy. Let's have a look at this one. So I think our next piece goes on. Let me get the picture again because it's the first time I've done this one. Okay, so covers the tail and up to there. So let's get that on. So that's that piece. This was number three, I think. So that goes there. Now the dogs might bark in a minute because the bin, bin men are coming. And they can hear the bin truck. It goes there like that. I 
I'm not sure I like that. Is, is that his fin or under his tummy? No, that's under his tummy. I wonder if that will look better in the darker colour. I think it would. I think I've done that in two. Done that a bit too light. Let's see if I can get that off. I think I've left it a bit too long. There we go. I'm just going to cut that again in the darker, darker colour. darker. So let's do that piece. How is it going? I don't know. Looks a bit weird, but uh, they're not um, conventional creatures from Tim Holtz, are they? So that's fine. Right, we've got a little mouth for him. No eye. <laughs> we've got a little a little mouth, which I think is that piece there. And then this one is. A bit of shadow on his back, I think. There. And that one is a bit of shadow on his back above his fin. So, let's get these on. It's gonna go about there, I think. And his mouth is gonna go up there. go so they're done put those to one side those aren't happy let me get all this put away right so these are the bits left over from the cut making the card blank I've cut them to five and a half and what the plan is and whether this will work or not I don't know is I'm going to have the happy joining those like that and I might have a bit of pattern underneath and then the, these guys will just be there so what I'm going to do is get out my artboard So if you haven't seen this before, this is just a this is a make art ranger make art board and it's magnetic and it comes with the ruler and the magnets. And we're gonna put that there to keep that in place, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five and a half. So the bottom one needs to be there, like 
that. And our letters will be... Okay, so we don't need those quite that big. I think I could pull off an eighth of an inch off of both of those. Possibly more. So... Just a fully glue. There we go. Lovely. So then we're going to have. Are we going to put anything in there though?
Do we want a matte layer? Should we have a black matte layer just to finish it off? I think so. Let's just do that. the sentiment the birthday first before I sail off with that just in case I want to move it so let me find a birthday to put there or there I've got this one which I don't know where that's from I'm just going to do that in black a couple of times and then we'll do some cutting and stacking of it
So there's the second card using the same Sizzix set. Got a bit of uh, a bit of dimension on it, so quite a nice one. That's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Okay, bye.